and welcome to Orient Today. And we've got with us uh, Mr. Chris Scarlett. He's a photographer. If you've been to see a band live or perhaps even at a wedding recently, Chris may have been the photographer. How are you doing today, Chris? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Good. Thanks for having me on. We're going to take a few uh, a look at a few of Chris's pictures, and we're going to uh, talk to him a little about about what it's like to. Uh, be a photographer and how to get into photography. I guess that could be my first question, Chris. Sure. How did you get started to become a photographer? Well, um, actually, my mom was a pretty good photographer, uh, and although I didn't know it uh, back early in high school, I had a couple of uh, uh, years of, of photography classes in high school. Mm -hmm. um, they were fun, but it didn't really click in that that was something I necessarily wanted mm -hmm. to do for a living. So there was some interest early in life, but then life happened and a lot of, you know, life went by. And then uh, in to early 2008, 2009, my sister, who was a photographer, upgraded her gear and uh, wow. sold me her old stuff. And pretty much from from then on, it was uh, mm -hmm. it was uh, all hands on deck. Um, there had to be a point, though, where you just said, I think this. I think I'm pretty good because uh, you know anybody can buy a camera, have their sister sell them her old camera. Right. You had to take a picture and say, or somebody said, "Wow, Chris, you know there is a, you know there's photographers and then there's people that take a lot of pictures." Quite gotcha. honestly, and and there is a difference. Sure. It doesn't really matter, you know. But at some point, you had to kind of have that. What were you taking a picture of, or, or, or well, do you uh, remember that? Yep, I do, and and this is actually the shot right here. Um, I oh really this was. Uh, Wow. I, I didn't really know much about what I was doing. Uh, I will tell you, I didn't know much at all about what I was doing at the point that I took this oh picture. Gosh, I was yeah. literally leaning out of the side of the window out of my house mm -hmm. uh, and using a long zoom lens. And I, uh, th there's nothing spectacular about this. I like the, the colors. The light is incredible. Uh, the, way, the light is perfect. Yeah, and it's just regular sunlight. And um, the depth of field, it, it's just perfect. Right. And See, now I can make my iPhone do that. Right. I just select... What is it? Portrait mode. Sure. And the next thing you know, but but anyway. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it, it, so this is this is really where it started. Once I took this, I said, "Wow, that's, that's really a great cool." Picture. I Beautiful. want to try to re uh, reproduce that again. Oh, good. Do you, um, have, any, do you have some more here? Let's take a look uh, at I something do. else. I do. And, and so you know, fr so as far as like uh, you, you mentioned, you know, how how do you wow. how did you think you were good? Well, uh, I didn't think I was any good for a long time. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, not to sound cocky, but now mm -hmm. I think I'm a pretty good photographer. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is because I like my work. Ah. So there was a long time. That's important. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and I, it, to me, that gives me the confidence because I'm, I, I quit doing it for everybody else and I started doing it for me. Sure. Um, sure. And, and that's when I, mm -hmm. I think I really uh, felt like I was getting better when, when I would take a picture and go, wow, this is great. You know, yeah. I like this yeah. a lot. So, right. Um, right. This that's, is that's an Asiatic important. lily uh, bloom, and and again, this was one of the very first uh, pictures that I took. Wow! Um, and I messed around with it a little bit in in uh, in uh, you know post production to get this kind of a look. So, what year approximately did you start? Um, I, like two thousand nine. Okay, so yeah. we were well into digital. You've never, have you done film or, uh, I mean, you know. Yeah, I did film back in the late 80s when I was when, a kid. You, yeah, yeah, but you never, uh, but you never uh, did it as a professional. No, no, no. For no, any no. reason at all, no, just for the effect or no, anything. No, no. Uh, I you wouldn't know, think so, but. There's purists, uh, mm. and, and it's just like any uh, technology for any art form, mm -hmm. you know, music or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, as the technology advances, mm -hmm. uh, there's people that say, oh, it's got to be the old stuff. People that want to listen to right. records only on vinyl and stuff. Right. And I guess each medium has its right. uh, advantages right. and disadvantages right. kind of thing. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I've always stuck to digital. And you could make digital look kind of like film can't you uh, yeah I've been told that you, anyway, you can definitely like, there's a, there's a lot of uh, um, you know you can manipulate digital sure. images yeah. in a ton of different right. ways absolutely right, right. Um, so uh, again these are just kind of uh, wow. images so this was one of my first experiences with uh, with a long exposure that's on a, oh. a highway up in Petoskey really um, and uh, the the, uh, the, the trail that's going right. by is a car Oh, that, that I see. white light is a, a car that's going by Those with the, the red moon lights. and the, you know How the uh, the uh, the leading lines that, that you know that yeah. create the V in the middle. Yeah, of, uh, and the stars even. Yeah, that and, is and again, so 
I took that with technology in 2009 or 2010. That was probably yeah. six or seven years old at that point. Yeah. So yeah. the that was a long time ago. That was a long time from, uh, ago. So I look at these pictures yeah. now and I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, these could be better, mm -hmm. but they're still pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a very cool picture. Um, so yeah. How did you think of that? I mean, you just said, I'll just uh, see what happens on the road here. It, yeah, I mean, it like, was. Like, how long was the exposure? Uh, I think that was probably a 30 second exposure. Okay, so you, you saw know, the car coming. Right. And hit the button and <laughs> I will tell get you, out of the way. I can remember, uh, you know, that's, it's in, uh, it was in Petoskey, so I don't know what the wildlife is like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's bears mm -hmm. in oh, that there is. part of town. So <laughs> I'm standing on this lonely road mm -hmm. out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And I'm hearing stuff in the woods and I was a little <laughs> nervous you know what I mean um, yeah well that could have been a, you could have switched over to nature photography at that right moment. right exactly yeah. so uh, really how did I see that um just uh, you know I I'm one of the I'm a photographer that when I see something I want to take a picture of it and 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 create something as opposed to a lot of photographers have an image in their head first and then they recreate it ah. so I work with what I see Okay, uh, very that, good. That seems very to be good. Uh, very good. how I work out. How about this one here? That is a pretty cool um, so, action photo. Uh, part of what I cut my teeth on was taking pictures of my son for four or five years in his baseball league. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, as a matter of fact, this one actually got published in the Oakland Press and uh, a couple of other you know little local papers. Mm -hmm. But again, just uh, the, that's my son in the green Nova shirt sliding into home. Did, did he did he score? Or? He was safe. Yeah, he absolutely. was. All yeah, right. Uh, you can, I, I think Excellent. the plate's like underneath here somewhere. It's hard to tell. But that's a fun picture. Yeah, it was great. That's great. Um, how about a car picture? I know. You, I, I know. I saw I some car pictures. Cars. In there. So that's uh, that's one of the things that I that I really love. Well, is, you got to love cars to take pictures of them. Well, I mean that you, helps. In in order to make things uh, interesting for you as a photographer, mm -hmm. you have to take pictures of what interests you or what inspires you. Ah, so sure. I am definitely inspired by cars. Mm -hmm. um, I, one of the very first books I bought when I was a kid in 1978 was literally a book of every car they made in 1978. And I wow. would, oh, look at that. That's a Riviera. That's yeah. a this or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. cars have always been a thing right. uh, for me. Just the lines uh -huh. and the early yeah. 50s and 60s cars and the 40s yeah. cars. Mm -hmm. There's so much style and, mm -hmm. and architecture mm -hmm. in them. It's that's really a, like a Cobra? Is that a Shelby? Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a Is that a real AC one, do you, think? you remember? Um, I can't remember if that There's was a real one around. or a reproduction, but yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see what. Let's see another car picture. So uh, uh, I do a lot of uh, car shows again because there's a lot of them around. Um, when they come to town, that's a good opportunity. Uh, so what I another thing that appeals to me is uh, is reflections. Ah. So I'm always looking oh, for the reflections and the angles. Very good. Um, look at that with the trees and the sky. And Beautiful. The, and the colors. I had to look at it for a second. <laughs> That's what makes it a good picture. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, the primary colors, so you can see there's there's blue, there's mm -hmm. red, there's green. Very good. Um, yes. Uh, I, mm -hmm. uh, um, I'm a big snazzy. fan of, of big saturated colors and, and lots of the primaries because it really makes it pop. That is really a good picture. Uh, what else do we have here, Chris? We've just got about a uh, few more, uh, about one more minute. So okay, let's see what great. we got. Got the Stingray. So that's yeah, nice. That's that is the same. The light. Yep. That's very good. Um, so I also, uh, I cut my teeth uh, taking pictures of my son in marching band as well. Okay. Uh, and that's where I spent a lot of time actually taking pictures. So I was actually riding on the front of a float. Ah, uh, my son that's is a uh, fun picture. one of these two uh, right, mm -hmm. uh, playing the tuba. How about that? Just caught this the little, little guy, guy right in, in the there. Middle. He's probably a tuba player today. Uh, he might anyway. very well be. Yeah, you're uh -huh. absolutely right. Uh, so I guess uh, I guess we better wrap it up here okay. uh, on this episode of Orient Today. Gotcha. Thank you very much, Chris, for coming on in. Not a problem. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again soon at, at a live band, probably. Yep, or, that'd be great. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, I'll be there taking pictures of, of musicians. Absolutely, All that's right, part we'll of what watch I do. For you. Yeah, right now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Chris Scarlett with Tom Janke. Have a great day. Hold on to your hats. The big one is coming to Friendship Park on Friday, August 5th, from 5 to 9 p.m. Orient Township brings you the 18th annual Big Red Gig Spectacular. See trucks, tractors, diggers, dozers, buckets, and backloaders side by side. Load up the entire family to see fire trucks and police vehicles. One night only. One night only. One night only. 
come early. Stay late for the insanity and don't forget your camera. Admission and parking is free, free, free to the public. That's Friday, August 5th, Friendship Park, Big Rig Game. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Cookie Challenge. I'm your host Evelyn and today our two contestants will be competing for the title of Cookie Queen. Let's meet those contestants. Hello, Tom. Hello, Evelyn. Let's tell I've Evelyn never decorated a cookie in my life. Oh, this is very good first news. <laughs> it's my first two cookies here. I, I'm confident though. I, All right. I think I'll do fine. All right. You got a plan? I do have a plan. Okay. Yes. I'm excited to hear about it. All right, and you, Brian, tell us Hi. about yourself. Hi, Evelyn. Um, I have decorated cookies before, and I did a lot of baking as a okay. young child, which was very, very many years ago. Um, and uh, I'm excited. Um, um, the prize is very exciting. I yeah. can't wait to be crowned I know, cookie I saw queen. you eyeing it earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I have a plan for one, and I think the second one I'm going to kind of just wing it once I get done with the first one. So we'll see what happens when I get there. All right. But so I'm excited. Cookies are us. <laughs> Sounds like we got a rookie and we got an expert, but I don't know, underdogs can pull through. So, these two contestants have eight minutes to decorate a pair of cohesive cookies, and we will have a guest judge determine who the winner is. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. On your marks, be set, go! I'm gonna step on the Okay. All right, we're moving along here. Let's see. Um, I'm way ahead. I'm, I'm already, already on the cookie. You haven't even touched your cookies yet. Jumping right these in. These are going to be boring. Mine's going to be colorful. You know, sometimes you got to get a little color in on the action here, you know? Oh, do you? Just because, uh, just because you're already at the cookie doesn't mean anything, pal. You know? There we go. Look at that. Holy mackerel. That's green. Wow, that doesn't look like green. Uh, don't tell my wife I'm doing this. She'll make me do it at home a lot. Cookie, cookie, cookie. What's up, cookie? All right, Tom, you seemed very confident. Tell me about your vision. What's going on here? Well, what? it's very interesting how this says blue and it comes out black. Well... You just give it a chance, right? I <laughs> okay. know, that's right. Like I said, oh, there it is. There's the blue. Oh, Dark navy. That's pretty easy. But I have to use the same one, the same utensil over here, see? I'm actually oh. getting a little blue in my green. Oh. That's okay. I probably should have been smarter about I it. I have paper towels. No, you that's okay. Oh, okay. it's fine. It's a fine green. Okay. It's a beautiful green. So here. I will get the paper towels. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> because you want to wipe this thing off so that I can smooth it. I could use one right now. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. I hope our little utensils work well. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I can't wait for everyone to see that. Look at that. What's beautiful? That. Mine? Yes. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> no. Wow. Got a beautiful mix. Like, got an ombre going on. It's beautiful. It's got an ombre going got an ombre. on. Ombre. <laughs> That's right. I am one. I am one tough ombre. Okay, now let's see what we got here. This. Brian, that looks horrible. That's because I'm not done yet. What are you talking about? Don't, oh, don't oh pick sorry, my sorry, cookie sorry. Until it's done. Sorry, how'd you make it so smooth like that? That's because I wiped off the frosting from the paddle so that the paddle was clean. Oh. Yeah, that's how you do it, man. I got, I got uh, colors. My colors are running all over. That's all right, though. I don't care. Okay. It's a messy thing. This is messy. It's messy. <laughs> First, I have caulked a bathtub before, and it seems similar. It is. That's an interesting eat, comparison. I wasn't expecting that. You don't want to eat the, uh, the bathtub caulk, though. If this you can eat. Oh, wow. Okay, Brian. I've heard a little bit about Tom's uh, technique. What do you got going on over there? 
Well, I'm what's just, your vision? I got the face thing going on here. Evelyn. Okay. And um, um, it's simple, but I think uh, 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 effective. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. For, for that one. Oh, the, beautiful. Yeah. He looks a little sad, but I wanted to add some texture to it instead of just having the typical smiley face. And obviously, the uh, three stripes are his hair. Oh, okay. It's from a. It's from a company that makes t-shirts in Traverse City, that kind of that kind of face with the hair sticking up. But, oh, uh, very, very black, cool. black if you want okay. the black tone. All right, so there's one. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I'm kind of uh, do a little bit more. Oh, and once you use one, it's, see it's full of that color, so you have to use another one. That's okay, though. Well, you could put it on there and then squirt it out till the color that's in there is gone. The two, there's plenty. In, there's plenty in there to, to do two cookies. Oh, oh, nice! Oh, Was that right. Picasso? <laughs> <laughs> ah, red eyes. Okay. Red eyes. Bold, yeah. bold choice. Bold. <laughs> that's a that's a, that's a, in his own self image there. Mm -hmm. Red eyes. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. um, Actually. Um, I could keep. Oh. We, how, how are we doing on time there, Evelyn? We are just under four minutes, everyone. Oh, so we got, I got okay. some time here. Yeah, you got time. Okay. To perfect your masterpiece. Right. That looks good. Making another face? Nope. No? Oh, sorry. <laughs> My bad. does not, uh, I need the tiny, well, it's too late now, I guess. Oh, I think I see what you're doing. This is clever. I can't wait for everyone to see this. Wait you see this one. I can't. <laughs> now this, I do have to put that small tip on. You wasted a lot. Yeah, well, it's been a while, so as far as, you know. Waste not, want not. Well, you know, we can hang around for a while after the show's over and decorate the rest of those cookies so we can use it up. And if someone's going to eat a cookie, it might as well be a good looking one, right? What do you think? That was beautiful. Yeah. I think if I had to do this again, I would cover the cookie with one of those tips instead of trying to spread this on here because it's not easy to get it uniform and not mashed over the edges and stuff. I don't think I would mm -hmm. do that just because, you know, this isn't what I do. Right, okay, okay. If I was an ex if I was truly an expert in this and did it a lot, I could have probably got that really nice and smooth and stuff. But uh, uh, Well, I thought you were an expert. Well, I mean, I had some experience. I wouldn't okay. call it an expert. You said expert. But, uh, no, I won't do that. Confirmed, you did say expert. <laughs> yeah, well, you said expert and then I agreed with you. <laughs> got to test it first. All right, we are just under two minutes. We're almost at the one minute mark. Finals coming around turn number four. Yep. I work best under pressure. Yeah. Nice. I can tell. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait for everyone to see. <laughs> it's a... Uh, a simple choice, okay. It's a blue moon. What are you doing? I'm looking up something. He's got to make a quick call. <laughs> we have 50 seconds to look it up. 50 seconds? Yeah. I'll, should I slide these into the oven now, Evelyn? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put it back in the oven. Because <laughs> we baked these fresh today. So you have to position them the mm -hmm. right way. Plating matters. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, okay. Cool. 25 seconds left. We see Tom is done early, but Brian is still working. <sighs> I'm out of ideas, so. There you go. And hands off. Okay. Oh, well, uh. How much time do we have? We, you have six seconds. And then I can say the dramatic line. It's been a lot of fun, Evelyn. Yeah. yeah, okay. I didn't Terrific. know I was, Two, was so one. good. All right, hands off. Your hands were already off, but we can pretend. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ooh, can I 
I bind you. So now we need to have the judge come in, yeah. right? Or uh, back in the middle. Wants to explain right. our vision here, or okay? Um, how are we gonna do that? Let's bring our guest judge. Maybe he in can figure first. it out. We have a guest judge who has a very artistic eye. You met him in our last segment. We have Chris Scarlett from Chris Scarlett Photography. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. I didn't know you were a part. <laughs> All right, so we got. Come on in, Chris. <coughs> Scoot in All right, a little bit. Tom, let's uh, explain what. Okay, let's show the audience, show the viewers. What what's your? Well, <laughs> can our can our viewers at home see that? Is that you okay? Could hold it up. Is that enough? Can you hold your see, I want to keep this up here because this is actually. Okay. He is saying, O N T V. Oh, see, that a, is very smart. Aren't you clever? That this was, is a cartoon. A I actually made a cartoon out of cookies. It's very nice. cohesive. The I, nice. That's good. Who is that? That, um, he's just a random ONTV enthusiast. Oh, I was, So I he's not really anybody in particular. Just a big fan. They come through here all the time. Come through here all the time, so. Okay, I was thinking it would be Joe. No, I don't okay. think it's, nah, nah. nah. I don't right. want to push it that far. All right, so got a very cohesive set over here. Good start, good start. I'm liking the set. You have to notice, though, I, I have the green and blue of Orion TV. Mm -hmm. That you do. I had to mix that color. Wow. Very so. beautiful job. I would Thank agree. Thank you, Evelyn. All right. Go ahead. So what I've done here is this first one, and I'll just hold it up for you because it's a cookie. It's not going to bite anybody. This is... The bass clef, which is uh, one of the music insignias where a lot of the lower sounding instruments play in, the range that they play in, the bass clef, okay? What do you mean lower sounding? Is that like well, the, lesser, the lesser instruments? That's exactly what I mean. Wow. And this is a disgruntled music listener. <laughs> As you can see by the look on his mouth there, he's not really happy because, you know, let's just take one of the instruments that plays in that bass clef, the bass. People really don't <laughs> like the bass that much because it's just kind of muddy and down at the bottom and it's not that big of a deal. So this guy, when he hears the bass, he's just not as happy as if he were to listen to, let's say, the drummer. My apologies to viewers at home who play the bass. <laughs> <laughs> I am so, so sorry. So that was my that was my vision and obviously this is all tongue in cheek and, and I'll, I'll tip my hand to the audience. Tom is a bass player, and I'm a drummer, and we oh, have this, okay. and we have this okay. strife okay. going. Okay. Every time we make cookies, this happens. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so my apologies to the bass cookies. players in this room. Uh, right. So, so we give each other a hard time about that all the time. So I had to not only tie the cookies together, but tie Tom and I together during this exercise. Thanks to everyone. So all right. That's my video. pretty good. Thank you that's so much good. for that explanation You're appreciate welcome. it You're thanks welcome. for having right, us if Alan. i can ask you guys to just step away for just a second don't oh. leave the room but let's discuss all right what do you what do you think about this song? well I, I really like the way uh i like his use of colors okay um, i did i yes uh, that, that's a notable I, I noticed that right off the bat uh his artwork is uh, pretty impressive considering he's using frosting as the medium mm -hmm. um <laughs> uh, i uh i like the way he incorporated both cookies into his art, yep. uh, even uh, with the thinking in advance of this being a thought balloon or a conversation balloon, mm -hmm. so he knew that he, you know, it needed to be placed exactly this way. Yeah, it's um, very so clever. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Yes, exactly. I agree. I agree. Um, what about this one? Brian's work, uh, again, uh, you know, his uh, work of, with colors was stunning. Um, I like his uh, forethought with the music. Uh, theme as well. I'm, I'm a musician myself, so I understand where he's coming from. Um, and uh, again, uh, the the artwork is just uh, it, it, stunning. Uh, really, I can't I can't <laughs> very speak bold. to enough. Uh, exactly, uh, I, I, it's very Picasso uh, for both of them. So it's it's going to be a tough decision for me. Really, I'm going to have to give it some serious thought. All right. Well, we do have to crown a cookie queen. <clears throat> So, um, what I'm thinking uh, is that uh, uh, I think I would like both guys to share the crown of the queen. Oh, oh how about that? Tie. Oh, yeah. that was beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. Well, you know, wow. it's, it's all about uh, equity and uh, recognizing everybody's effort right. and not putting anything in place. They're That's both true. delicious. Right. Uh, everything was good, and, and art is always in the eye of the beholder, so 
Uh, I yeah. think they both did uh, yeah. fantastic. You're that is art. art. You're very wow, politically that's... correct in the time of the day. Thank we you very we much. get the prize basically for both participating. Right, absolutely. Yeah, participation this is my art for right both here. of you. That yes, was, exactly. Was I'm inspired to do this again. And, and now you guys get to eat your art. All yeah. right. So, but who's going to wear the crown? Tom can wear me. It's I too think. Small. Well, I can wear it. You want to wear it? Yeah. Yeah, you guys, you're the cookie queen. <laughs> sure. All right, we got a we got an unexpected <laughs> cookie queen. Oh, look at you. Uh, it looks good. Uh, yeah, All right. I think smart you, you guys should come in together. All right, everyone step okay. in. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Well, Thank you all for joining us on this epic cookie challenge. We had an unexpected but very happy ending. I'm your host, Evelyn. Thank you so much to our guests and our contestants. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Evelyn. Thanks, Evelyn. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Cookies for everybody. Absolutely. Cookies for all.